Welcome to Games Overboard. I'm PJ. I'm Dan. I'm Angie. And I'm Matt. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We haven't had Matt on here since Here to Slay. <laughs> but that he has... a while ago. I think it was like a year ago. Has it been a year? Something like that. He has joined us in the live streams, though. Yeah. Ooh, we just scared him In away. the chat. In the chat, yeah. Well, someone's yeah. got to keep you in line. <laughs> That's usually her job, but yeah. she's also sometimes out of line with me. <laughs> Bad Online answer. or out of line? Well, I'd say we go line dancing, but I don't like that music and I hate line dancing. Mm. Well, yeah. Kind of silly to say you go line dancing then. Well, maybe I dance on the line. I can't mm. say I'm Johnny Cash. I can't say this I walk a, the line. This isn't a field sobriety test. You realize that, right? <laughs> Thank God, because even when I'm sober, I will fail. I don't really know how anyone can say the alphabet backwards. I know, right? That's like the uh, hardest thing ever. Uh, it's just anything that they can find to be like, ah, you're totally wasted. You're what? Huh? A what? I'm wasted. All right, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Not yep, sure yep, why yep, you're yep, asking yep, me yep, to do yep, something yep. I can't even do uh-huh. sober. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're here because we played Tyrants of the Underdark. Well, you did. I didn't. Yeah, Angie's just here for the dark story. I am. <laughs> Uh, so this is a D&D deck building, dudes on a map, area control game. Dudes on a map? Yeah, that's the term. D- really? Yeah, for like games where you're putting dudes on a map, you know, like Risk, uh, things like that. Uh, Spirit Island, kind of. Yeah, I guess know. that could be kind of. Yeah. Opposite. Yeah. Seismic is definitely going to be a dude on the map game. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Uh, I was talking to Jason today. I was waiting for it. Oh, I, 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 I was waiting to see how long it would take. It usually only takes it. about five minutes. Yep. There was the one time that I could not believe they did not bring it up right away. <laughs> <laughs> which, which time was that? was like two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. It was pretty recent. It Maybe was. three. Uh, so, so I did talk to Jason or, today. Or was it when, was it when um, GameFound went live? Uh, you know what? It was when it was when the yeah, game I think found it was. went live. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Gosh, uh, was that was that like four weeks ago? Then? It was it's so been like five weeks ago. Wow, we're uh, Whoa. we're hoping wow. to get a to get a game together where we can test this out with the developer himself over Tabletop Simulator. I think yeah. we're gonna have a lot of fun on that one. Yeah, I taught Dan the basics of it this afternoon. Yep, over TTS yep. using which rules. The, the rules that he gave us online. Are you sure? Did I don't know. PJ them? looked him up. <laughs> Do you know what you just said? That's right. PJ likes to make house <laughs> rules. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Dude, I would have won. <laughs> yeah, I want to stay right now. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I, I don't understand how you did so poorly because half of it is a game style you kick my because ass. Because the other half is very control game. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I roll. <laughs> how many times I've won risk? No, Zero. I don't. Zero. That's right. <laughs> well, not stupid. <sighs> oh, oh my, that, that would question. be a game to. <laughs> I don't think you and I have played risk since high school. High school. Yeah. It's been since it's I been we tried in college, and Shanna just decided to play like make believe with the pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a little distracting. A little bit. Then they turned a Barbie into a candelabra. Oh but... yes. <laughs> the look on Matt's face right now. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I've seen that face before. It's when some thought is trying to peer through the nether. Yep. So the way the game plays in a nutshell is you have a hand of... What kind of nut? I think this is more... Nah, this is more like a walnut. Walnut? It's a bigger one. Yeah, crack it open. Yeah. Yeah. What about a Brazil nut? Mm. Macadamia? How about chestnut? This old chestnut. Do we get to roast them on an open fire? Sure. Have you ever tried to get them out? I usually just chuck them in the fire and then pull them out. Out of your chest? Just caught me off that thing. Mm. Mm. What the hell? Temple Doom. (laughs) Kalima! Now I get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> and then it bursts into flames and onto his hand. PJ put it back. <laughs> so, uh, you have a deck of 
10 cards to start with. You draw five and you use those cards to purchase new ones from a market. Mm-hmm. And then you also use them to put new troops out onto the map and uh, aim to control as many sites as possible by eliminating your enemies off the map and trying to control points of interest. Right, and there are two types of control. There is control or total control. Yeah. Control is easy to do. All you have to do is have the most amount of your troops on the spot. Yep. Total control, you have to be the... I mean, you have to literally have everything. everything. Yeah, no one else is allowed in that spot. Not even a spy. Uh, yeah. I gotta say, the spies in this really can help you or hinder you. Oh man, those spies in this game. There's something. I mean, you, you both of you screwed me over with those spies plenty of times, but yeah. I did get the you're, last one. You're laugh. most welcome. <laughs> yeah, you're most welcome. <laughs> Um, but this game is tense from, after like, what, the third round or so? Yeah, once you like, start... the map starts to get crowded. Once you start, uh, placing troops on there, you start picking up more powerful cards through the mm-hmm. market. Yeah, it, it gets, it gets pretty crazy. I just thought it was funny that you both went, oh yeah, Dan didn't pick up on this. Didn't pick up on what? That you can choose from, from th- these, which are the, the lower tier. Oh, I already got those. Yeah. I've been picking those up when I didn't have anything to get. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Way ahead of you. I, I, we may need to get our glasses checked. Because neither <laughs> one of us saw him do it. Yeah. Are we sure he did it? He's a cheater. That's why he won. Well. Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. You just butt hurt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. No, no, the chairs are hard, but not that hard. <laughs> that, that, was, that was very reminiscent of, you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. No. <laughs> There's supposed to be a second one coming. There is. I'm very excited about that. Happy Gilmore. Everybody everybody from the original cast that's still around has signed on, so. That's okay. We may get a second Spaceballs movie. Yeah. Uh, yes, I've heard about I, that as well. I, Hoping. Ah, uh, Josh Gad. Uh, he, some <laughs> of the stuff he's done is good. Some of it is not so good. So we'll see. Mel's still involved. Yes, he is. You really think he's going to let it screwed up that badly? Yeah, there is and that. And we're sidetracked. <clears throat> we do it often. Yes, and I know. it's okay. It's part of the program. Yep. Components. What do we think? So okay, let's so... start off by saying we're playing with the original version of the game where there are plastic minis. Instead of the cardboard, cardboard tokens, tokens that the current version has. Right. So this version was released in 2016. Yeah. And I it has like the that... longer rectangular style box instead of the square right, box right. that modern games have. I prefer this. I don't find this to be an old game, but just the way that this industry is. And it's not just board games. It's gaming in general. All Video games, board yeah. games, everything. If it's five years old, it's old. Yeah. Like, it's out of date. But I still prefer this. I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much. Well, that's not true. I don't think it would have been as... mm, satisfying if we played with just the straight tokens. I mean, that's how any game is. If you have the deluxe, like, nice pieces, Mm -hmm. you know, it's always better than cardboard chits. Yes, that's the term. Chits. I'm sorry, I was, I just I just went to Blitz and Chits. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go play a game of Roy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my own dreams fuck me up enough. If I played a game like Roy, <laughs> I would probably kill myself afterwards. <laughs> like that stuff is no, my mind's too messed up. For those of you who don't know, that's a Rick and Morty reference. Oh, Roy. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> the game is very straightforward in terms of if you've ever played a deck builder before, whether it's the Rick and Morty deck builder. That's right. Or um, Dominion or mm-hmm. Clank. Any, or any of the legendary uh, the games. The legendary games. Dune Imperium. Yep. So Like, there's so many deck builders out there. Uh you know the gist of the game. You draw five cards, you play them all out, you buy new cards, they go in your discard pile, 
you shuffle them all together when you run out of cards and you get a new hand and repeat. Right. And you use those cards to do things. Now, this one does have something that's... Of course, all of these games have variations. There's always something different. The thing that I like about this is that inner circle. Yeah. So every player gets an inner circle yeah. where... So, like, every deck builder encourages you to cull your deck and make right. it as streamlined as possible. And this one actually rewards you for culling that deck. Instead of completely getting rid of the cards, you're keeping those cards for points, but that doesn't come into play until the end of the game. Yeah, you put them off to the side in this little circular play mat, mm -hmm. and the cards have two different point values on them. One for if they're still in your hand, or one if they're in the inner circle. An inner circle is worth a lot more points yeah. than in your hand. Yeah, because uh, those starters, those starting cards, if they're still in your hand... Zero. You don't get any points. If you've called them, put them in your inner circle, you're at least getting one point out of all of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a clever, I like clever that. design. Uh, and of course, every every deck builder has something where you can get rid of cards that are still on the market. And of course, this version yeah. of it's called devouring where yeah, certain usually it's called card, trashing a yeah, card. This one is devouring. You eat it. Yeah. And uh boy, yes, oh boy. And Dan ate a lot of cards. Nom, 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 yeah. nom. Usually the cards are valuable to you guys. I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's the point. If you can't have it, no one else can, you know, like, that's uh, some... I mean, it's not like I didn't, not like I couldn't have it. I just didn't want it. And I didn't want you guys to get it either. No, for me, it was like, it's three more turns before it comes back to me and the possibility of getting that card. Or I can just make sure no one has it. And so I would devour <laughs> that card <laughs> to deny others that privilege there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so components-wise, the cards are fine. Yeah, the They cards... show wear. Like, we, we're we using a friend's copy, and there's definitely wear on the cards, uh, but, but it wasn't noticeable. Like, it wasn't something... It doesn't affect the game. Yeah, it wasn't something you look at and go, well, I can't use this card now. Yeah, right. And, I mean, the the, the board is nice. It's easy to read. Mm -hmm. It's kind of boring to look at. It's just rectangles and circles. Right. You know, like... <laughs> right, but I, I also think for this, it, it fully serves its purpose. I don't think it needed to be any more... Yeah. ...colorful or... It, didn't really need to pop out anymore. As long as you could see where you were, where you were going, what matches what, you know, what connects to what. Yeah. You're fine. That's all you need for this. Mainly because as a deck builder, you're going to be looking at your cards more than anything. More than the board. And the artwork on these cards look fantastic. fantastic. Uh-huh. I agree. And for a deck builder, this was, for someone who does not play them very often, this wasn't hard to pick up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, and I had it by the third or fourth round. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to find that a lot of deck builders, if you start playing more of them, are very much the same. They all have the same standard rules. Some of them are going to have small variations, and a lot of that variation is going to come on the, the, the cards text themselves. of the cards. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like it's going to be like, oh my gosh, it's vastly different from the Rick and Morty game or from what we just played tonight. Yeah. Like, it's... Yeah, the central mechanism of you draw half of your starting hand mm -hmm. and then you draw the second half the second time, you know? And then so on your third turn, it's the new cards are mixed in. Almost every deck builder I've ever played has had that exact same l gameplay loop. Right. You know? Uh, where the third turn is where you get those new cards. Unless you have an ability that says, like, this card goes directly into your hand. Like, ah, oh, yes. I <laughs> like, not Expeditions see does oh, that, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Any card you get goes straight in your hand. Yeah. Yes. I will take that that faction. <laughs> uh, I, I like the cards, and I haven't seen a game, a deck-building game that doesn't have this either, where it's draw an extra card or draw two extra cards. You, you know, you play it and you're like, ho, 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 now I get an upper hand. I wish Tyrants had that more. I had... Because when I play Rick and Morty... I only had one. I only had one card that I could take that advantage of. Yeah. So, so Matt, like... God, I hate you Dan had... Game. <laughs> <laughs> Dan... <laughs> so, like Dan said, there's, there's that one card that said, like, you know, you get to draw an extra card. Mm-hmm. 
the Rick and Morty deck builder, and apparently a lot of the Cryptozoic ones, like the company that made the Rick and Morty ones, yeah. there are a lot of cards that let you draw more cards. And so I will end up with 15 cards in front of me by the end of one turn because it's like, draw two cards. And then, okay, I'll draw two cards. And then that one of those will be like, draw two more cards. Okay, and draw two more. And it's like, oh, go through your discard and pull out all of the cards that have this character on it. Okay, here's five more cards. Oh, those five cards all let me draw one card each. And so you have this huge array of cards in front of you. And it's like, oh, I have 18 influence now to buy things from the shop. I'll just buy all of it, please. <laughs> Piss me off. And I wish Tyrants had more of that, because that's my favorite, is building that engine and just watching it play out, you know? Well, there are also a lot of cards in here. On a normal deck builder, we, we didn't have gotten get, a we, lot we farther. Just, yeah. We did not get very far in this. Yeah, and the way you build the market is you take two different decks of 40 cards each and mix them together. And there are, I think, six different decks you can mix and match. Yeah. And we didn't even get through the entire market. Yeah. So there's a lot of game that we did not see. Yeah. And so who's to say that one of the other suits of cards didn't doesn't have more of those? Or the draw cards. Right. Yeah. I didn't get to take anything out of my out of my discard uh, pile, which made oh, me sad yeah. because I had a lot of ability cards that really. Yeah, there are some cards that like root through your discards and yeah, put them and back in your hand yep. and things yeah, like that. Choose one, take one of your choosing, put it in the deck. Yeah. Um. So what so works? so the other things oh, that we need okay. to quickly talk about is uh -huh. your player mat. Okay. So your player mat is each one of these. You're a different. A different was it family? Yeah. Yeah. You're different. Like house. House. Um. In the underdark. In, in the underdark. And it. It gives you basically your, you know, here is your, your hand for this round. Here is your discard pile. And then that little extra circle there, your inner circle. Uh, the really nice thing that this has, and I've seen some other games do this, uh, but this one is by far one of the best because it's short and it's simple, is that also acts as your your player... Um, uh, I can't... I, words lost, gone. Your... Um, I... Aid. Listening. Your player aid. It acts, <laughs> shut up. You're such a jerk. Uh, it, 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 it's not only your player your player mat, but it's also your player aid. Yes. Because it has everything that you can do in one turn. It gives you all the steps. Yeah, you have your draw pile on the left, discard pile on the right, and in the middle... Right in the middle gives you everything. everything that you do during your turn. I love that. I love when games do that. And it's, it's, it's simple, it's neat, it's not crowded, it's just... It's, it's, it's literally, it's right there. The other pieces, well, we've already talked about the minis, and everything else is just tokens. Just cardboard mm -hmm. tokens. But what about the birds? Oh, oh god no. damn it! What about the birds? You know they're not real. <laughs> they're drones. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Birdwatcher yeah, unknowingly real. came across a bird. Soon after that, he dies. Oh. Say that again? A bird watcher unknowingly came across a bird. Soon after that, he dies. Is bird this watcher. bird watcher a real person? Yes. Okay. A b How are you a bird watcher and you unknowingly come across a bird? What kind of bird watcher is he? Wait a minute. Is the bird watcher dead or is the bird? <laughs> yeah, who unknowingly dies? Yeah, yes. I think the bird watcher unknowingly. I think dies. they Is both. Correct? I think they both do. Bird watcher. The bird Wait, watcher. Wait, he unknowingly, unknowingly died. A bird watcher unknowingly came across the bird soon and after soon that. After dies. He dies. He I... saw a bird. The bird was actually a drone, and he got hit with a missile strike. No. <laughs> and an endangered baby bird fell out of a tree, and he squished it, and then he got killed for killing a baby endangered bird. I think the mother would come down and rip his face off, but uh... Yeah. You know, birds of prey. Um, yeah. is he looking for birds when he's... No, I mean, he's a bird okay. watcher, so, like, why wouldn't he be? Well, apparently, no, he Or she! Wasn't. Or she! We don't know. Yeah. I'm a member of the Autobahn, by the way. Why? I met with them uh, a couple weeks ago, and... Really? I signed up. Yeah. Cool! Alright. 
right. Yeah, so we can link up uh, mostly like for my high school and things like that. Oh, that's cool. All right, all right. But he wasn't looking for birds. Spots a bird. No, he doesn't spot a bird. He kills a bird. No, he doesn't kill a bird. But he... What was it again? Well, I gotta know, dude. What the hell have you been smoking tonight? <laughs> you yeah, are so unfocused. Unknowingly, no one is smoking anything. He unknowingly he's spots a bird. He unknowingly came across a bird. Came across a bird. Soon after that, he dies. Bird flu. No. No, no, no. That's avian flu, PJ. Avian bird flu. Same Eight. thing. You know, you know what avian <laughs> means? Bird. Bird. <laughs> Burr. Hey, he's got pink armor. It's not pink, it's lightish red. <laughs> yeah, there's a word for that. You know what it's called? It's called pink. pink. <laughs> oh no, it's a lightish red. No, Help it's me out light here, red. Griff. It's not lightish red. Oh, sorry. It's just light red. I may have not seen any of that show, but I know that quote. <laughs> it's light red. It's not pink, it's light red. Your armor, it's uh a little uh griff help me out here it's, it's pink. pink it's freaking it's pink, pink. <laughs> yeah that's pink. it pink <laughs> holy crap what, what there's something on your head color. is it a spider <laughs> no get it off wait they have a girl on their team i knew you could pick up chicks in that thing <laughs> <laughs> this is my life <laughs> um do you think we could talk t- Carrie and Tom into doing that for the movie pod? I hope so. Red versus blue. Oh my. But what about this bird? Yes, the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, the bird. Matt has not chimed in yet. He has not, but I will tell you that... The wheels are turning, you can see it. Is bird it a, is the word. Is it a baby bird? It's just a bird. God. Is it... Wow, that was loud. That was loud, Is PJ. it an endangered bird? It's just a bird. Why? Hey, PJ. Does the bird kill him? Kind of. Okay. Um, (gasps) Wait a second. The bird was carrying a turtle. The man was bald. (laughs) And he thought it was a rock, so he dropped it on his head. God. I'm sorry, you laugh, but Uh, this is supposedly how... I am now seeing the trains come to his... (laughs) A screeching halt? A screeching halt. And then fall over. Clearly it fell over long before he was finished. Well, we have been working on him for a long time, so yeah. Uh, we try not to make that too public. I want my bird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, okay, so the bird is owned by a Russian engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Who has beef with a tech billionaire. <laughs> is the bird... Large. That was a drawn out bird. I, I, start, I, I started talking before I knew what I was going to ask. <laughs> so I had to come up with a question right off the fly there. <laughs> How do I spell? Oh, no Just, pun intended. Right. Oh, oh, I had to wing it. Oh. <laughs> Should we get out wingspan and you can look at the kinds of birds? Will that help? No. Dang it. Didn't think so it it's an exotic bird? I don't, it's a, it just it's says a it's bird. a bird. You don't know what kind of bird? It does not say what kind of bird it is. Well, clearly it's not an albatross. Does the bird eat him? No. Does the bird poop attack on him? him? What? Does, not pass, poop does on it him. maul him? No. Birds really don't maul well, people. Well, claw him. Peck, maybe. Does it carry him away and drop him from a great height? <laughs> no. Like some poodle? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Oh my god. Um, it had a snake in its talons and it dropped the snake and it bit the guy. Do, do the chickens have large talons? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Is it just one bird? It's just one bird. So we can't say it was a flock of seagulls. Um, and I ran. <laughs> Is it the bird you're not old specifically for that. that kills him? No, you're not. He... Follows the bird onto a farmer's farm, and the farmer is like, "Get off my lawn!" and shoots no. him. Okay. Nah, you gotta say it more like Clint. He follows Get the bird over a cliff. On. No. Hmm. Is anything we said remotely close? God no. <laughs> <laughs>
Was he trying to rescue a baby bird and fell off a tree and died? No. What is your obsession with these baby birds? I don't know. I rescued some baby birds as a kid. We had one named Fufu who lived in a dollhouse. Laura named it, didn't she? Probably. I don't remember. I was pretty young. That sounds like a Laura name. It was Robin. We have video of it somewhere. I would have just named it Robin. Or Dick. Yeah, of course you would. Why would you name it Dick? Grayson! Dick Grayson. He was Robin. You got it. <laughs> no, it's because he kept pecking me. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> God, he's being such a dick. <laughs> so, tyrants of the underdog. I mean, if it was a woodpecker, you'd Oh, know. my God. <laughs> well, that's about as lethal as it gets around here. <laughs> This guy over here is being a right pecker. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, little look. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? See, you followed my train of thought. Uh, yes, I got it. <laughs> so, Tyrants of the Underdark. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what works? Well, the player nothing, aid. apparently. <laughs> the, the, pl- the player aid's, player aid's fantastic. Yes. The complete hybrid of deck building and area control is genius. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, just the whole, uh, I mean, for area area control games, you never get to bolster yourself. Like, fuck you guys. Like, <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. I heard you. I don't believe it. But, uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I got two of those. Um, but you, you, like, you never get to take... Advantage, that's the word I'm looking for. I can't think. You don't get to take advantage of these combos like you do with uh, normal game... What are you doing? With normal deck building games. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, we also didn't get through a whole lot of them either. That's true. PJ, what works? Uh, I, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I really enjoyed the rule that to eliminate someone else's troop... You had to spend three power, you know, where usually, you know, like in a risk or something, it's one for one, you know, right. it's, it's fast combat for, but for this, like it takes a lot just to get rid of one character from the board. Mm-hmm. Unless of I, course you have dragons. Yeah. I really liked that though. I really liked how hard it was to kick someone out of a place. Absolutely. Wasn't that hard for me. I was doing that to you every other turn. I hate you. <laughs> That's usually what he says. I know. <laughs> I also really liked um, spies. Yeah. The spies as really much made as I difficult. hated dealing with them. Placing them out was really, uh, really it was, satisfying. It was, <laughs> it's such a cool idea of like... You can't have total control because someone just put this guy out next to the town and they're just spying on the town from the hills outside or whatever. Like, you know, with binoculars, the you whole, know. The whole army's out there like, wait, what do you mean we don't have control? And then there's a little guy going, hi guys, I see you. <laughs> Reporting back on everything that's going on. Does he have a sniper rifle too? He might. I also just really like the whole D&D side of it all and everything and oh yeah you know, you're all these dark elves at war with each other i thought that was awesome dark elves are jerks oh yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah <laughs> uh, anything else that works matt you're new to this like style of game what do you think i like this i don't want to say simplicity but i like the fact that it was easy to pick up yeah um of course, I sat here in utter amusement at you two. <laughs> <laughs> I just went and played the game and took out the white guys as much as possible and got left alone. Speaking of, that's another thing that works, is that there are neutral characters that are white in color on the board, and they just kind of get in your way. They're these obstacles yeah. That you have to fight through. They serve no purpose other than to just be in the way. And that's really cool. I do like that a lot. I just F up your day. Oh my god, you just hit that guy. He shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> he wouldn't move. <laughs> but having yeah. to contend with, yeah, having to contend with something that you have no control over, anybody has any control over, and then still going after each other. Mm-hmm. 
it is fun. It really makes it more interesting because I could, like Matt, Matt didn't go after us. Matt just continually went for the neutral parties and took as much land as he could. That's because he didn't have to. Because in this scenario, Matt was me. Well, I mean, he did fuck up our days. Like I do that as well. <laughs> You're welcome. I got you out of there anyway, what it matters. This is how I feel every time I play a game with They you don't pay a bit of fucking attention to me. You haven't strangled them yet for this? No. Is it a big bird? <laughs> is it yellow? <laughs> Does he have an imaginary friend named Snuffleupagus? No. Okay. Do you know that it the Muffin Man? It wasn't until like <laughs> college that I learned it was Snuffleupagus with a P. I thought it was Snuffleupagus. Oh. Yeah. I always <laughs> liked Snuffy. Yeah, Snuffy's awesome. He was he was always one of my favorites. And Oscar. Oscar's the best. Yeah. Oscar's awesome. It's because you relate to Oscar. Sans living in a garbage can. Yes. Shut it. Yeah, we've seen his car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. I'm glad you said that. I'll give you that. You know, I cleaned his car one time. She did. How long did that take you? A while. Quite a while. And you, and you made it back out? Yeah. Wow. I found a lot. I found a lot of shit in there that I. It's like betrayal of house on the hill. You have to make a mic roll to get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if you're in the back seat. It only took a week to make it look like a shithole again. Only I haven't cleaned a week? it since. Only a week. So wow. the secret cabal podcast. They have a term for that. It's called the savage pit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> So, what doesn't work in this game? I mean, the guy that got killed by the bird. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere. Wait, wait, hold, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> was he in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. It like, was a fucking pigeon, wasn't it? Like, did he, like, walk into a, an exhibit in the zoo and they're like, Get out of Get no. out of the bird! <laughs> no. Or a mockingbird. I don't think Atticus Finch pulled out his gun. Was it a <laughs> parrot impersonating a loved one? No. And like lured him off a cliff or something? Come here! <laughs> we we hey, already tried hey, the cliff, bitch. Come here. She said no. Come here! I'm your wife. <laughs> <laughs> come to bed. <laughs> I'm oh naked. My. I'm naked. <laughs> She hasn't said that in years. <laughs> <laughs> then, as he was descending, he realized, wait a minute, my wife's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, dang it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, hold you. <laughs> Enjoy your death. <laughs> Have a nice fall. Freaking bird. Away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what doesn't work for me? One, I wish that the board had like just little. And we, I had this similar problem with Dune Imperium, where like, just give us a little picture of the city that we're fighting for. You know, like instead, there's just like a, a circle or a rectangle that we're fighting over. Put some artwork of, like, an underground city behind that circle or behind that rectangle to make it look like we're, you know, actually fighting in this underground mythical realm. To make it look like you're fighting for something. There's no, th like, the theme, and the you haven't played it, but D&D &D also made a very entry-level worker placement game called Lords of Waterdeep. And okay. it's the same thing where, like, all the words are there, <laughs> you know? You are collecting warriors and wizards and clerics and sending them on quests. But really, all you're doing is collecting orange and purple and white blocks and trading them in for quest cards. Do you know what might make it better? Otters. Oh, Otters. for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> You ought to just deal with the fact that these jokes are going to keep coming. <laughs> Give me something to throw at him. <laughs> I'm going to be nice. Ah! Ah, no! <laughs>
<laughs> You've been it. Gatorade. I was going to fork you, but uh, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> no one yeah. likes a dirty fork. <laughs> <laughs> PJ got forked and it was dirty. Could have cleaned it off first. <laughs> um, 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 ah. Don't look at me like that. For me, there isn't anything that I would change about this. Not okay about this particular version version of the game. So something I heard, and I deliberately didn't do it because I heard about it. Is you heard? The heard? You heard? Is that the blue and the black look very similar when they're on the board together? Oh, I I noticed that when I was picking through the colors, right? So that was something I was like, I, right, right, right. So I was like thinking that I was gonna pick the blue. It was too close to the black, which, which of Dan course Dan had picked. to be. Except for the... Uh, the thing? Player mats. Thank you. Yeah. Those were not the same color as, as the pieces. As the pieces. They, right. It was a brighter blue. <laughs> yeah, they were much brighter. I agree. They were really nice. About this version, there's nothing I'd change about it. Yeah. I would change the colors a little bit. One of them could have been yellow. Purple. Yeah, which if they lightened the blue, it would be different, different enough. Differenter, yeah. it would be differenter. It would be differenter from the blue. Yeah, Thank you, you know that you could tell the difference between them. Mm-hmm. And then when you're playing the game, you'd be able to know which ones are yours and which ones aren't. Just be glad that they've gotten out of their Christopher Walken face. Now, tell listen. me more. <laughs> <laughs> this bird. I killed a man. That's just bad. That's that's no, bad. yeah, I know. That's awful. That was awful. More deep. <laughs> Tell me more about this. More deep. This is freaking bird, though. Fuck this bird. How? Oh my god! He didn't try not. to make sex with the bird, did he? <laughs> he oh boy! Did you say make sex. That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that makes me like wait a minute did you just say consider, that consider the source did oh, the Jesus. bird insult his family <laughs> I'm not sure how that's possible well he flipped him the bird while that's he was flying by oh. 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 alright so anyways I just know this is going to be a stupid stupid <laughs> solution is it mm-hmm. <laughs> damn it <laughs> Why, you Is there any anyone else? with him when he sees the bird? I assume so, yeah. Oh my god, it was a Dick Cheney incident. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. He saw the bird, his partner drew up, fired while he was still in the line of sight. No. And then the son of a bitch sued him and made him apologize for getting shot. Did that really happen, the yes. suing part? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, mm. Tell me more, PJ. <laughs> Anything else that doesn't work in this game? Matt? Well, if I had to be nitpicky, this writing is too small. But Ah, uh, yeah. That, that's my vision problems. Now, Outside Matt, if, you, that, if you've been listening, you'll realize that PJ just recently... Found out that that was a real thing. Nitpicking. I did. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I mean, yeah, the term nitpicking. I never realized it was about that nits were bugs and you picked nits off of an animal. That's and you're how old and don't know this? That's what monkeys do to each other. That's yes. right. Yes. It's called grooming. Well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> well, then what's your excuse? Didn't know they were called nits. <laughs> Bluey taught me that. <laughs> Matt looks so ashamed right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's shame or just shock. <laughs> Disappointment. I love that they play in that show. Perhaps. They play a game called Raiders, <laughs> <laughs> where the father bandit takes an exercise, an exercise ball. ball and throws it down the hallway while the girls try to get out of the way. 
Can we play the game where you roll the ball and go, da na 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 and we have to get out of the way? <laughs> oh, you mean Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite moments from this game? <laughs> I, I have a few. <laughs> hate this game. Oh, one last thing that... <laughs> Only because he didn't win. One last thing about this game that I wish they would have included is the Doerden family. And anyone who knows anything about D&D lore knows that one of the biggest houses in the Underdark is the Doerdens. And Drizzt is like one of the most famous characters in D&D lore. I'm surprised they didn't put him in. I don't even know I'm, who the just, fuck any of those people are. I know you, yeah. I mean, it may have been completely deliberate. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, probably just separate themselves right. from the lore and all that. Right. But, um, I was just surprised. I thought I thought that would be an easy way to, like, get people hooked on the game. Like, oh, Drizzt is in here. I'm never going to get rid of this game now, you know? So. I was, I was going to say that same thing. <laughs> anyway. My, f- I have a few favorite moments. Uh-huh. One of them. Was being, it about a bird? It was not about a bird, because fuck that bird. It's not the word. It is. No, it's not the word. It's not on me either. All right. All right. So uh, I, I enjoyed... <laughs> I enjoyed getting that one card that allowed me to... Remove one of your soldiers. And then remove a spy. And when I first played that card, PJ went, Holy shit! How much parry did you have? It's, I, none. It's just what the card says. No! No, that's bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting over that stupid spot was was great. Yeah. I, I, it was just fun. And I have to say, my absolute favorite moment was the fact that I kicked both of your asses. Handily. There was one moment <laughs> where you, like, when you kicked me out of Menzo Brands and and I just kind of stared at you. <laughs> <laughs> there was just no words in my vocabulary to express how the, pissed off you were. The no, the hurt that this game could give me. Best friend. I was doing so well. He was your best friend. And that was the moment that it all started to fall apart. Right there. This reminds me in, of another game that you have. It's the one where the island disappears. <laughs> Survive. Survive. Yes. The one that breaks friendships. Yes. This game definitely has that vibe to it where <laughs> friendships can be ended so quickly. Oh, no, I'm still your friend, PJ. I hate you. <laughs> Listeners, Matt will be the new co-host next week. <laughs> I just, I just want to ask you, PJ, how does it feel to be the one that's constantly saying this for once? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always lose at games. That's not the surprise here. It's just the betrayal. Uh, like this game, just it, it wrecked me <laughs> on such an emotional level. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yes, but you do realize there will be revenge for this. <laughs> of course. There always is. The next, next time game, they play a deck builder. The next game that always. we play. Straight deck builder. Star Wars. I am going to lose. that one back out I'm going to fucking lose hard, and that's my own game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is it still here? Did we take that home? You took I it. think we took it home. Yeah. So, Matt, how about you? What? What? what any favorite moments? I just enjoyed watching you two go after each other. It's usually one of my favorite yeah, moments. It's, it's, I enjoyed the entire game because once it got, you got to, we build it up to where you had decent cards in your deck. And then these two just go at it. Now, mind you, I've seen I this for years. I was not, I was trying to defend myself. I'm like, I'm just going to hold these places. Dan's like, hey, I'm going to move in here and just kick your guys out and take over. And, oh, oh, I, I admit, I was. You have control in me. I'm you honestly didn't expect him to do this. Even <sighs> I expected him to do this. I was waiting for my turn. I'm just saying, I didn't go after him. 
Bullshit! You were the first one to put a spy that fucked up my operation. <laughs> well, that's different. That was no, you, you're an asshole. Because <laughs> you went, oh, that, that, that's piddly shit. I get very little points off of this one. I'm going over here. And, and they were like, I'm going up here. And I'm like, asshole, I was making my way towards there. And, and it was you- unbiased. <laughs> you, the place you were going for was worth five points. The one Matt had was three. So I picked your spot to send the spy to. Unbiased my ass. <laughs> I don't want to discuss that. I don't have one. We know this. A bias. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite straight. Thank you very much. This opens up so many questions. <sighs> so about that fucking there. bird. <sighs> well, do you do you have another question about it? No, I fucking hate it. I hope it died afterwards. I hope Dick Cheney shot well, it, too. Well, does the bird die? Yeah. Oh! Uh, mm. Did the, the bird collide with him? <laughs> did it smack into his head and they both die? It's like driving on a motorcycle and the bird hits him in the head and they both die? No. Oh, that shit got hurt. Yeah, right? Oh, fuck. You ever see the video of the woman on the ride? This is a slingshot ride. Oh, my God, yes! <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> um... Did you see, uh, uh... Is the guy in a forest? No. Is the guy in a city? No. Is it the- was at the baseball game, the pitcher threw the ball, bird came out in front of it, and it just, poof! Those videos. Those are rough. That was fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I, 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 I thought it was funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Don't shake your head at me, Matt. I can shake my is head at you. Guy, I watched it happen live. Is the guy standing still? <laughs> When the bird encounters him? <laughs> encounters him. I don't really know how to answer When he has the bird to counter. Is he driving? No. Is he moving at fast speed? Yeah. Is he skydiving? No. Gliding. He's on a glider. No. Is Riding he... a bike. Sledding? No. Bob sledding. <laughs> That's sledding, PJ. Bob jump. Skiing. Skateboarding. Rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> Scootering. <laughs> That's called shooting. Is he on on heelys? Who? Oh, that is playing a game of Raiders either. That has got to be the worst invention that I have seen in the last thirty years to roll around in my school. I thought they were like banned in most schools. Yeah, they definitely are. (laughs) Yeah, because you can't catch anybody. You'd be such a horrible influence in there. (laughs) I give up. Fuck this bird. This bird. He's moving at high speed. Encounters the bird. They probably... Do they collide? In a way, yeah. Is he Is he in an open cockpit airplane? No. Oh, it's a bird! A bird strike! Is the bird strike? What do you mean? It's where... <laughs> bird hits an airplane. Well, a flock, a flock of birds go into the yeah. engine and take out the engine of it's a plane. It's just a bird. <clears throat> Maybe one bird goes into the engine and takes out the engine. Okay, bird strike. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Took you long. First though. try. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man was a passenger in a small aircraft. The bird flew into the engine, making the airplane crash to the ground. Fucking birds! You ever see The Edge? By Anthony Hopkins? Oh, yeah! And Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. I was going to say, it was Alec Baldwin that was in that movie. Amazing music in that movie, too. That was a great movie. That was a bird strike. That's right. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. And Anthony Hopkins is all like, do you know you can make fire from ice? Fire from ice. Do you remember that? And Alec Baldwin was like, shut up. <laughs> fire from ice. Do you, remember, do you know fire from ice? <laughs> <laughs> that Jeez. should wrap it up for this week. And don't forget to wrap it up at home, kids. <sighs> presents. Your presents. Damn it! <laughs> I've been uh, snappled! No, he's just been snapple striked. Oh my god, <laughs> snapple strike! <laughs> Jug strike. <laughs> I can't really get him with a mic strike this time. <laughs> well, there's, well, well, there's a way. Well, Email us at gamesoboard at gmail.com or visit go. us at gamesoverboard.com. Feel free to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, we'll message back pretty darn quick uh, if you want to 
talk about games or if you agree or disagree with our uh, comments about the game. First off, how do you feel about this game? Would you recommend this game, guys, As before we leave here? Me? Absolutely. Yeah. Even if it was cardboard tokens instead of plastic ones like the new version? Yes. If you're somebody that's not really, doesn't care about tactility or anything like that, Go right ahead. It's still going to be a good game. Big word for you. <laughs> so, so dang proud of him. What did you just say? I said we're so dang proud of him. Oh, shut the hell up. Um, then yes, this is the I, it, all around. It is a good game. It is yeah. a fun game. I only recommend this because you get those uh, those miniatures. Yeah, which I mean, good luck finding it at a good price. But um, really, but you don't need it. Because, no. like, half the time, I was just, like, standing them up anyways, and I'm like, I was thinking to myself, these, if these were cardboard pieces, I wouldn't be doing this right now. You know, I'd just be putting them out on the map, but instead I'm like, stand them up. I mean... You know, oh, yeah. they fell over, stand them up again. This could, I mean, this could also work with just wooden blocks as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. Uh, and the gameplay would still be the same, and I don't think it would detract to it at all. Yeah. Matt, you provided the game. What do you think? I enjoyed it. I would play it again. Me too. Um, even just for the stress value of YouTube. <laughs> this game is very stressful. Stressful for you guys. I thought it was hilarious. I know. I hate me too. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for listening. Have a great week. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>